Grand finals are here of the Meta Weekly. 131, right? Not 132. We lose count. There's so many. We've never, ever skipped a week of Meta Weekly since its inception. For over two years now, we've been running the Meta Weekly. This is the Grand Finals. If you click join on YouTube, you could join for all the benefits in the bottom right, the weekly, monthly, free entry events, the competitive weekly, monthly, and daily events, the largest, most active Duel Links Discord for events, discussion, and help. You will not get better help, better events, better Discord, better discussion, better learning anywhere else. So on YouTube, just click the join button and you are in to get all the benefits. Let's go into the grand finals, Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Opening up with Solitaire. Solitaire gonna tribute itself to summon a level two tuner from the deck. That level two tuner you desperately want in your graveyard. If it is sent to the graveyard on your turn, you're not able to activate its effect to synchro using your grave. So ideally, it's going to be sent to the grave during El Zixo's turn. Level 2 Tuna with the Solitaire. Just looking at it, you think it's a level 6 synchro. Wrong. It's actually 6,000 damage level 8 synchro. That's what could happen from sending that level 2 tuner to the graveyard. But maybe Wower has a back row card that could send his tuner to the grave himself. Cyber Dragon from the hand. If you control no monsters, you get special summon a Cyber Dragon. End the turn. He's refusing to attack. And no Ballista Squad in the end phase. Nothing to put the sword into the grave. So that's 6,000 damage. He would have been able to deal 3,900 damage this turn if the Spectral Sword were to have been sent to the grave. Solitaire could tribute any monster on the field, not just itself, so he could get the tuner into the grave. But the turn it's sent to the grave, you cannot activate its effect to Synchro. Is he going to Synchro, or is he going to activate the Solitaire? Enemy controller from El Zixo. Going to tribute to take control of the Solitaire. This is just until the end phase, then he must give it back. But this does stop a Synchro Summon. This does stop Wower from getting the Spectral Sword into the graveyard. Cosmic Cyclone in the end phase at the cost of 1,000 life, banish a back row card. This will help trigger his skill cyber style. Per 1,000 life you're missing, you could summon a proto cyber onto the field from outside of the duel. Goodbye Floodgate. Now it's worth noting he could have floodgated that cyber dragon, permanently flipping it face down, but he chose to not do so as he did not see the cyber dragon as a viable threat. Did not open up with cyber dragon core, which is quite unlucky for him. Going to activate the Cyber Style, summon a Proto Cyber onto the field. Attack a Proto Cyber Dragon into the Solitaire. Again, removing the option for Wower to get his tuner into the grave. Good play. Level duplication, reveal a monster, duplicate its level onto a monster on the field. Squire going to make the Spectral Sword become a level 4. Squire on summon will activate to summon a tuner from the deck. Okay. No Fiendish Chain, no Negate. Double tuner. One's level 4 though. Zane, this is your opportunity to stop him before he synchros. Does not stop him, does not take out that level 4 non-tuner. Going to create... A Shogun Saga, on summon, banish a card from your graveyard, gain its attack, also trigger the effect of Squire when banished, draw a card to then discard. I activate my monster's effect. Goodbye Fiendish Chain. What could this other card be if you're willing to discard a Fiendish Chain? Gonna synchro the level eight into a level two to create a Sun Saga. Sun Saga will return the Shogun Saga back in the extra deck and will destroy a card in the field without targeting. You have no idea what he's going to destroy. As soon as he chooses what to destroy, you cannot flip up that card afterward. You must do it before. 
Sun Saga is also indestructible per Shiranui in the graveyard. You can banish a Shiranui to protect yourself from battle or effect destruction. Pop in that back row cybernetic overflow. Overflow when destroyed will be able to search for another Cyber Dragon spell or trap. Does he have another cybernetic overflow? Should he have used that overflow to destroy the Squire, preventing the Field of Sun Saga? What do you think? Adds a Cyberload Fusion, which cannot even be activated next turn. Cyberload Fusion could only use your field or your banish pile to get fusion summoning. Having monsters in the graveyard is no good. Dealing 2400 damage over that Proto. Now Proto in the grave, it's not a Cyber Dragon. It's just a Proto. So the Cybernetic Overflow will only be able to banish the Cyber Dragon to pop one card in the field, taking out the Fiendish Chain. He needs another Cyber Dragon on the field and are banished. He is setting triple set a dead fusion, dead overflow. Overflow cannot be used. Fusion cannot be used. Nothing can be used. It is all useless. Spectral Sword in the Grave going to banish the Solitaire to summon. I know what to do. I special summon a monster. I activate. Hey, Samurai Saga triggering the effect of the Solitaire to summon a tuner back onto the field. I special summon a monster. Get Synchroing into a level 8. There could be a Drowning Mirror Force which would return the entire field back into the deck. You never know. Shogun Saga is here. On summon, banish a monster from the grave, gaining its attack until the end phase. Maybe he's cho he chooses to not activate. No banish, no baboost. Goes in for lethal, 3,500. Enemy controller, put that Sun Saga into D. But he still has a second attack. We know he's got a dead fusion. What could his other card be? Goes in for the final attack. Is this it? Lethal! Wowerer taking game number one. That's not a turn one that Cyber Dragons want to do. That is not a good turn one. For both duels, no Cyber Dragon core. While Wower opens up with the Squire summoning a tuner from the deck. Get Synchroing into... Samurai Saga does not attack, does not want to trigger Cyber Style. I draw. I'm a card. Newly drawn card set now activates a Necro Valley, so Wower will not be able to banish from the grave to use the Spectral Sword. We talked about this being side decked in for game number two. Normal summons a level two tuner. I set, a card. set set. Set, is he willing to attack to trigger Cyber Style? I don't think so. Yes, he is. This is incredibly risky. If he just pokes for 800, it will not trigger Cyber Style. If he swings in with the Samurai Saga, okay, he calls it off. Very good. He knows. He knows. Just deal 800, then end. Normal summons a Cyber Dragon Veer. Finally has a Cyber Dragon monster, but still no Cyber Dragon core in sight. Veer will boost up the field by plus 500, and while on the field and in the grave, it's considered to be a Cyber Dragon, which is what you need to use your Cybernetic Overflow. With Necro Valley, he could potentially safely swing into the Spectral Sword. You're going down. Get swinging. Fiendish Chain to lock up, negate, cannot attack with the Veer. Also, it no longer is a Cyber Dragon. Going to chain Ballista Squad, Tributing off the Spectral Sword to destroy a card in the field. Going to take out Necro Valley, making it so he could activate Spectral Sword on the following turn. That is a devastating play. Negate, destroy, overflow, turned off. No overflow. You can only overflow if he has a Cyber Dragon in the hand. Overflow completely dead. Cyberload Fusion completely dead. Dead, dead, dead. Does he have enemy controller? Does he have sphere Karibo? I activate my monsters effect. Spectral Sword in the grave, banish a non-tuner to summon a level six synchro. Triggering the squire to draw a card, then discard a card. 
only able to do this due to taking out the Necro Valley, summons a zombie skull which will protect his entire field of monsters from effect destruction. So even if the overflow were to be live, which it isn't, it would no be no good against his monsters. Summons a Kazuki, Kazuki gonna send a zombie from the deck to the grave. Is this it? Is this the moment? Entering the battle phase. Here I go. Declare an attack with the Kazuki. A single Sphere Karibo, a single enemy controller will stop Wower from lethal. If he attacks again, this will be a massive cyber style. Takes the 2500. Can he stop the third and final attack to then follow up with a cyber style? Enemy controller, he is back in this duel. Put the zombie skull into defense. You just gave him, oh no! Forbidden Lance, chain overflow with the Veer in the graveyard. But it does nothing. Just like that, Wower is your victor. 2-0 victory. Now, on that final attack, if he were to have activated Overflow first, destroying the Forbidden Lance, he would not have lost. If he chained Lance to Overflow, he could then chain the Econ to Lance, stopping the third and final attack. All is well though, congratulations Wower. Meta Weekly every week, let's look at the top decks. If you join on YouTube or subscribe on Twitch, you get all the benefits on the right. You see that? I'm hiding a live chat behind it because they are naughty. You could be naughty too if you watch me on Twitch three times a week. Tuesday, Wednesday, 6 p.m. EST, 2.30 p.m. EST on Thursday. Join the free entry events, the competitive events, the largest, most active Duel Links Discord. Now, let's look at this. This is after we have received new Witchcrafter support after the box already came out. And Witchcrafters did incredibly well. Six in the top 32 and top three most played. We finally, I have to say, this is a new top tier deck of 2020 besides Heroes. El Zixo with the Cyber Style, Cyber Dragons, very nice. It is super standard. This is a great way to play it. You know, at least one fusion gate. I'm very happy to see that. This looks so clean. So clean. Look at that side deck. A Mono Awato, Necro Valley, System Down. All of these cards is, it's why he's in the grand finals. Necro Valley, System Down, and a Mono Awato were all used. All three to defeat Christrons. We have Wowerer, level duplication. Is this a, again? We have level dupe, Shiranui winning. Heavy back row, Shiranui. My banless prediction is gonna be this, you know, it's just a prediction, okay? It's not inside information, so don't be freaking out that your deck's gonna get nerfed. But I think you're gonna put the Sun Saga to two. Sun Saga to two, so you'd have to play one and then one. I do think that's how they might do it because there's a bunch of Shiranui cards that people are not using. I think Konami wants you to use the other Shiranui cards. Not just Solitaire Squire and Spectral Sword with a bunch of back row. Just my prediction. Don't get mad at me. It's what I think will happen. I'm not recommending it. Now let's look at the top 32 decks in a random order. Let's go. Dark Magician. We're not going to put too much time on any deck unless there's something really spicy in it. We got Karma Cut in here and the Regeki Break. Okay, very good. Any of these deck lists you can copy and you'll do well with. Good job on this. Ooh, hate your nade. I need to play this. Balance, Witchcrafters. Okay, Witchcrafters are being played with Neos or Lightsworn. Neos Space. Ooh, Preta Plant, Neos Space. I like it. I like it a lot. Level Dupe, Shiranui. Got Needle Ceiling. Very nice. Level Augmentation. Okay, Bad Aim. It's another pretty good trap. You have so many options for back row. See you later, Christrons. Return a monster back to your hand instead of having sea stealth attack and all that other good stuff. We have Witchcrafter. Nice. This looks very close to what I've been playing on the ladder recently. I love this deck. And then we have more Christrons. Okay. 
Cyber Dragons, I think this is the deck we just looked at among the top two. We have Black Wings, Necro Valley, and Blackbird Clothes. So good. That's how you're going to be Witchcrafters with this. Heat Wave, Raggeki Break. Show of Nightmares. Ooh, 24 cards, Light Sworn. Yes. 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 All right, Blackbird close in with the Necker Valley. It is super standard with Black Wings. 30 card show of Nightmares. Looking very similar to the other deck we were looking at recently. But he's got Masterpiece. I do need to try out Masterpiece. Everybody, everyone's been getting on me about the Masterpiece. These are all top 32 decks. Shadow Game. Shadow Game. I like Tie That Binds, but you know what? Shadow Game. Another Balanced Neos. It shows that it works. It works. The, the balance, the show, the nightmares, they're both equally working, it looks like. Okay. We have Cyber Style, Cyber Dragon, Destiny Draw, Element Sabers with a double concentrating current giving up the Invoked Earth. Super spicy. Another balance. I can't believe it, but no Neos in this balance build. All right, Neo Shell. Good job on that. Cyber Neos. Very nice. Spellbooks of the World Legacy. Oh, yes. And we did see World Legacy wipe the entire field. You need to be showing up on the live Twitch streams to see the rest of the whole tournament. When you add cards to your hand by this effect, you could reveal four different spellbook names to destroy all other cards on the field. What the heck is going on? I cannot believe it. One, two, three, four. Wipe the field! Neos Fusion protected, but the Cosmic Cyclone is gone! Because there's a lot of spice in the tournament beyond the Grand Finals. And yeah, World of Legacy resolving in a competitive tournament? I don't care what you've seen on YouTube. This was for money. This was top tier, and it wiped the field. All right, ooh, Samurai Skull, Sam okay, if you are missing a Gazuki, you could play the Samurai Skull instead. Okay, no, uh, whoa! Mithyard with the Onslaught, Onslaught, summon the Garunix, interesting, very nice, Transmigration, more Shurinui, okay. What is this? Very nice, good job. And the final deck, very nice. Good job on the Cyber Dragons. And that's the end. Peace.